we have three new events to take a look at. Take a look at who I am now. Welcome to today's meta analysis. As always, we take a look at the latest big Vanguard events, see what topped and maybe draw some conclusions. So first of all, we have Springfest Premium from Australia, which was won by a Weerup Cardfight Consulting, hashtag winning with Weerup, Mantab Jiwa. This was an interesting result. It's pretty diverse. So we have three OTT, which is a pretty major turnout. As you know, the maximum turnout you can have is four in this format, since it's a team format. So three out of four teams in the top four had an OTT, which is big. But then two Ezel, one Ange, which is interesting because we didn't really see that at Cardiff, one Neo Nectar, one Pale Moon. This deck is actually pretty scary. Like I saw the finals and this Pale Moon was so damn close to winning. It was pretty crazy. We had one Gusty, one Gridora, another thing we didn't see at Cardiff in the tops, one Luard and one Coral. Once again, something different. So overall, pretty diverse, pretty big turnout for OTT, but everything else seems to be going well. And once again, we're up did end up taking the event. Next up, we have BSF Standard in Australia. Here we see, well, you know, four Bermuda Triangle. Every team in top four has a Bermuda. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know what else to say. I've said it before, I'll say it again. If you currently go to Springfest without a Bermuda and a Kagero, you are throwing. You are diminishing your chances so greatly just because of how busted those two decks are compared to everything else. That's like, it's pretty nuts. So then two Kagro, as we said. Two is actually a pretty low turnout, but still, it's two compared to everything else, which is a one-off. But still, like, two is fine. Four is not really fine. One OTT, one Mura, one Pale Moon. I was told that they sacked pretty hard, pretty consistently, finding all the things on the top of the deck at all times. I can't confirm that, that's just what's being told to me. One Narukami, one Neo Nectar, and one Genesis. Finally, we have Springfest Munich in Germany. This was standard only, sadly. Yeah, four Bermuda, four Kagero. So every single team was Bermuda, Kagero, something. Wow. I've said it before, I'll say it again. If you don't play BT Kagero or something, you are throwing. We have one OTT, one Narukami. This is Alexander. I will show you the list right here. He was cool enough to send that to me. So this is Alexander's Narukami list. One Shadows and one Nova Grappler. I really don't know what I should be saying about this. Like every single standard meta analysis has been the same. BT Kagero something, BT Kagero something. That is the format now. And when we see Japanese results, we're starting to see other decks kind of creeping in. But what's interesting there is that we see Bermuda representation dropping, but the top representation not really dropping. We were first at a point where Bermuda was 50% of tops, but it was also very, very played. And then we saw it being played less and still being 30% of tops. We also saw this one graph, I believe, of Dexander, which had Bermuda only at 26%, but many small tournaments were part of that info. So like, take that with a grain of salt, regardless, it is going down somewhat, but the amount of tops it gets for the limited representation it has in some of these events is actually mind-blowing. So while there are people switching to new clans because playing Bermuda in standard is boring as fuck, I'll just come out and say it, it's still just doing incredibly well. And I don't think my glorious justice power creep is enough to dethrone it. It's strong, the cards, in that set, but it's not kill Bermuda all the time consistently strong. And so it's weird that we have to go through like five sets of support, well not five, I should learn how to count, but bunch of months of support and this deck is still the very top of tier one I dare to say. And obviously stuff is creeping. When we look at like a Shadow Paladin or something like that, compared to the quality we see in stuff like My Glorious Justice, miles difference. But then compared to Bermuda, it's like, meh. So we'll see. We'll see how this changes in the near future. Also remember that English doesn't even have Force 2 yet, which makes this deck way scarier. So this result is Force 2-less Bermuda. Once Force 2 drops, Jesus, hell. But at least Kagero is playable. 
which is not something that can be said of a lot of other decks. The post melody format was just play melody or don't play at all. At least now we can choose between Bermuda and Kagero. When my glorious justice drops, we'll be, be able to choose between Bermuda, Kagero and a few other things. But you're mostly still looking to play Bermuda, I would say. That is all for today. Hope you found this interesting. If you did, please subscribe to the Solemn Vanguard channel and click the bell button to stay up to date. Like the video. If you liked the video, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I will see you soon. Ciao.